Three, two, one. I'm Matt Lewis. I'm Ryan Lewis. And we're Grape, we're grape Soda. Soda. We've been in bands together for like ten years. Yeah. Now? Yeah, and um, so just about like five years ago, I moved down to Athens. And uh, we've been playing music in a couple bands, and uh, I've been playing drums and Ryan guitar, and uh, I just wanted like an outlet for the songs that I was writing, and so this was like my opportunity to do that. Well, we both really like uh, like psychedelic rock from like 60s and 70s, and also like Motown and Soul from that same time period. We both just love pop music from yeah. pretty much all eras. But also, I mean, I definitely think um, in when we were sort of figuring out the way, what kind of sounds we were going to make, things like reggae and dub that we were listening to a lot at the beginning had an influence on using effects on the vocals and like adding some of the echo and stuff that we do to things. So it was sort of like taking, I guess, bits and pieces of all that stuff and jamming it together. We're working on our second record and uh, our friend who recorded the first record, Bill Fortenberry, he moved into town, so we've just been able to, to work on it, you know, pretty uh, pretty solidly for the past, like, year, and just sort of, you know, pick apart every aspect, every angle, and really, like, put, yeah, put more time into it. Much uh, different process, and, and it'll be interesting to see, like, you know, the first record, I feel like, is kind of like our live show, like, it's mm-hmm. short, you know, our live shows tend to be, like, a half hour or whatever. And it's like, you know, pretty upbeat from beginning to end. Um, and it was recorded in that way where it was like, okay, let's get in here and do this. Boom. You yeah. Know? Um, let's knock it out and like have fun and try and get the energy or whatever. And this, for, for the new record, it's more, you know, there's some of that in some of the songs, but there's also a lot more like spending time just spreading out and, mm-hmm. you know, bringing yeah. in new things. So It's going to feel like an album, the second one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there have been a couple of times when we've played shows when... Uh, Afterwards, or even on stage, somebody's given us a bottle of grape soda, yeah, which yeah. we always appreciate. But yeah. uh, it's it's never like it's not our favorite soda. Well, I think people, yeah, I think people assume because we call it the band Grape Soda that like we're obsessed with grape soda, or we're grape soda connoisseurs, or we've got you know like grape soda is our our favorite of you know, mm-hmm. and like um, it's fun. It's a totally fine drink. I have no problem with grape soda at all. I can drink it. Um, but, like, the name didn't necessarily come from... The name was more just about the two words and, like, how it sounded. And so it's always funny when people kind of just assume and they're just like, oh, you guys love grape soda, right? Like, um, And it's always like, yeah, no, I mean, well, what, this is awkward. Maybe we should have had a different name. The best soda is probably Coke, uh, but... If, if you had to pick one soda, but a suicide is really good too. When you that's when you go to the fountain and you just put like a little bit of every <laughs> thing in there. But again, if you're gonna drink soda, you gotta stay well hydrated. Yeah. You know, at least one one equal amount of water for each amount of soda that you drink. Mm-hmm. Please, everybody. very important. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's one thing we can get across in this interview. Yeah. I hope that's it. <laughs> um, you need to stay hydrated. <laughs>